Alright guys, time to grab it back again today. I hope you're enjoying your day so far and today we're going to continue the discussion on this sniping drama which has gone down over the last couple of days. A couple of days ago it was Crimsix versus Pomage. Now Sensor and other players have come into the mix ready to talk about why sniping is so broken in competitive play. Sniping community not particularly happy with this discussion and of course I'm intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. I think Sensor and Crimsix certainly have a point. It's intriguing to see how this does develop in competitive going forwards because of, well, sniping certainly to me, especially in competitive with pro players at the helm, does seem very strong indeed and so well we'll have to see how this develops maybe Treyarch will implement some of the requests that Doug has to make this game play better from a competitive perspective like if you guys enjoy the video subscribe if you are new as always I would greatly appreciate it, it really helps out the channel thank you very much for doing that so let's just set the scene once again real quickly here so Crim6 says a couple of days ago snipers are super screwed up right now the aim assist will literally snap you onto the player if you center close enough case in point this clip that we looked at at the time of him just smoking people then he came out in a clip as as well kind of talking to the casual players that were coming into his stream sarcastically saying like I'm going to get your guns ruined I have the power to do so kind of thing and as he says like I'm being sarcastic I don't have the power to get a gun nerfed or buffed but at the same time like I you know I'm pretty keen to actually have the snipers are changed from as they sit in their current state right now Pomage then comes out and says a pretty fair point the snipers have been nerfed twice but the mp5 still remains the best gun across two cod titles untouched it does intrigue me quite honestly to hear people um, also in the competitive community saying okay the mp5 is too strong it needs to be nerfed but at the same time you've got the mp5 is really the only viable smg in the game right now whereas you've got the ffar the ak-47 the tactical rifles of course the m16 which is ga'd from competitive players we talked about earlier today but those things are certainly still viable the xm4 is maybe viable as well so obviously many ars that are viable only really one smg so i don't really know why we want that smg particularly nerfed be nice to have you know maybe some other smgs that are also viable as well but my marge certainly i suppose has a fair point that um, snipers are getting nerfed but the mp5 and uh, all other regular guns as the sniping community calls them red guns and this type of stuff still remain pretty untouched so then there was a bit of drama that went down between pomage and crim six and he says look if you decide to ban snipers from competitive then you're about to make it very boring to watch a competitive fps where they ban snipers what is going on and we talked about earlier today that, that seems to be the case as it stands right now and he, he comes back to dash i mean dash is obviously like tongue and cheek being a bit sarcastic here i think we need to buff the tundra of the ffar asap finally someone who gets it so you know i thought this was kind of entertaining but this is then what sensor comes out and says yesterday sniping in cold war is so overpowered the current meta is using a red dot sniper and it works a hundred percent of the time so uh, yeah priest are here coming to go chill this guy and um yeah he gets absolutely smoked by the red dot sniper in this competitive search and destroy and it's pretty difficult to peak people as it stands right now given the slow strafing speed and i mean a pretty nice shot from this guy right here but as center then comes back and says sniping in competitive cold war is overpowered because he was certainly catching some some flack in the in the replies to this tweet right so yeah sniping in competitive cold war is overpowered and well he has some ideas of exactly what you could do to fix it he suggests is there a way to make a setting to take off aim assist on snipers in private matches would be an easy quick fix for this and it seems like a number of pro players kind of echo what Doug is going for here but Pomage of course comes back with a slightly different opinion you've got to use the sniper in pubs to understand the difference between pubs and competitive you go nasty in one game the next 10 you're barely going positive you could of course attribute this also to the skill based matchmaking in its current state and then he comes out and says look take this gun fight for instance that we just looked at this is where both teams are in the middle meet up in search and destroy so expecting a sniper just to be there should be normal and also that's a good shot made from a professional it's one kill you're trolling says methods thanks for backing me up zin i don't think the sniper community understands how broken sniping is in 4v4 competitive they just want their overpowered snipers for their clips which is understandable rally comes back and says ban perk greed and thermals problem solved if you get snipes still then you need to learn how to use equipment better trophies also need a nerf so kind of siding with their pomage in this one but methods disagrees are you people not watching what i'm watching i am absolutely appalled and then well pomage and co come back as well to talk about exactly what could happen from the competitive play side and pomage makes an interesting point about the fact that you know people are just double peeking and openly challenging a sniper in search why are you double peeking openly knowing that there's going to be a chance you die just to rage at it are you stupid as we just did talk about though the strafing speed in this game being relatively slow makes it quite difficult to like shoulder peek for example a sniper rifle like maybe you would 
Twitter in Counter-Strike Global Offensive or in other games or something like that. So, you know, it's pretty difficult to balance exactly what the meta should be. I know that Parasite's been talking about how we should increase the strafing speed in this game when you aim down sights, kind of like to a level that it was back in Black Ops 2. That would make the game more fair in terms of what the gunfights were looking like and make it more easy to actually peak a gunfight and get some sort of degree of advantage rather than just running into a sniper rifle that's going to bop you down every single time, especially given that aim assist in the game right now. It continues to kick off with Sensor saying, Pam, literally my dogs could shoot straighter with a sniper in competitive. I'm sorry, but every pro player agrees that competitive sniping needs to be adjusted. We've played the game for over a decade in comp. We would know. But March says, I've sniped and watched you all for a decade as well. Just GA it from S&D and we'll watch SMG AR all year. That'll be fun, lol. Because I know for a fact no one runs it in respawn competitive. And that's the point where the pub community is trying to make with the pros. Gonna ruin it for everyone. Snipers can still be viable in competitive without aim assist. Because I think in Black Ops 4 they didn't have aim assist or something like that as well. But with how they work currently in 4v4 competitive, they need to be tweaked to make it more difficult to hit shots. I'll make a YouTube video going in depth and showing examples to back up my point. So Sensor does back up his point. He makes the YouTube video sniping in Black Ops Cold Wars overpowered. Here is why. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out entirely. But what he suggests in the first 60 seconds really is look, for competitive play, for public matches it's perfectly fine, do what you want. But for competitive, have an option to remove the aim assist, right? And I think that would be a relatively reasonable solution that maybe appeases both parties in that sense. And as he says, clearly nobody listened to the first 60 seconds. Cod Sniper community, please make an opinion by educating yourself prior to having a sheep mentality. So he's going off on the main stage. I do want you to enjoy pubs, heart, emoji, all this type of stuff. And Babaj then continues, I don't understand why pros want the snipers to be useless in search and destroy. Actually useless. Competitive would thrive if it had positions like pro mod, one snipe, one AR, two SMGs or whatever. Sports has people running their favorite role. But then fellow comes back. I feel like you guys are terrified they're going to nerf it into the ground. All it needs is a bit of flinch. So this is another opportunity that fellow brings up for what Trek could do. Add some flinch in addition to what Sensor says, potentially removing the aim assist in competitive play. But Babaj isn't too happy. They already nerfed it three times. Now when one pro hits a three-piece or a dunk slip one kill, you guys really think it needs another nerf? Like, did you not see Sims 4K with Mold Magazine on Moscow with the FFAR that you guys may have seen a couple of days ago? Maybe I'll actually finish the video out with that clip. That seems like a good thing to do. They already nerfed it three times as a bad excuse. They literally threw the sniper in the alpha with no limits. Of course, it needed tunes. You know, ban it from comp. Let's watch boring AR SMG every single year. You're being dramatic. All I said, if they added a hint of flinch, at least when I react first, I'm not getting my head ripped off immediately. And so, yeah, we get some pretty entertaining replies once again in this one. And X then says, I want the sniper to be good. Just think it should take skill. Right now, it does not. I feel like any shot you take in competitive when you're ADS most of the time already is almost impossible to miss. X says he's all for them buffing the hell out of the ADS time, so like the quick scoping stuff, but either nerfing aim assist or the bullet velocity of it. And he says that in order to make quick scoping not so OP like it was in the beta slash alpha, they made it way worse, but in turn, they buffed the hell out of the bullet travel time and the aim assist. It is literally a free orb, especially on PC now with the high refresh rate and better connection. It is ridiculous. So I'm certainly intrigued to hear your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Brassini comes out, kind of sees all the drama going down on the timeline. It says, look, people think the snipers are balanced. They are not. Fact, not an opinion. But uh, well, it is certainly an opinion. I'm intrigued to hear yours in the comment section below. What would you do? Would you make the changes that Doug Sensor Martin suggests? Do you think that Pam is right on this one? The snipers are pretty much uh, comfortable in the current state that they are right now. And uh, well, what degree will they proliferate search and destroy competitive if they remain in their current state. Thank you for watching as always. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, I'd greatly appreciate a like on the video. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. Know you enjoy this content. Other people like you may enjoy this content as well and help grow the competitive Call of Duty community. Thank you for watching as always. Take care and I will see you next time. I'll play this mid. Play mid on my bad. I got a slow start. Wasn't letting me spawn. In the mid. I'm watching your right side right here. In the mid. Good job. Nice. Oh my god! Let's go escalator. Oh! Oh my god! God damn! Someone get a tree! I want to see what happened to the second kid. Not that bad. Alright, the second kid was dashed with a pistol, so it's not that bad. Your guy can me. He sniped me. I smoked him off though. Dude, I got the worst timing. There's two. There's two. There's two in the room. You guys are so good. He's at the tank, left side of it. There's two there. Close on you. Nice, the other two are gonna be in the building right here on your right. On your left, on your left, close left, close left.
I'd be doubling corners in there. You'd be for sure close left on you. They can see your laser ball. Can they? Mm hmm. It's like our office, bro. Just doubling corners. They're playing uh, Kyler in the mid. But you know that's one of Kyler's base shots, though. Nate's done, Nate's done. Ender. Right, right here, right here, right, right next to you. On your right. I am the best. I am the best.